Just like my Gary's Mod career, when it comes to the wiring aspect of a build, I didn't give a shit. And now here I am. Lucky enough, IT Man was nice enough to put together this monstrosity for me. And this monstrosity's purpose is to get fed 12 volt, to control the two fans, which I should have had him just do one port and put a splitter on it, because that'll spin them down. Even though they're not toys, it'll still have them run at... 30% speed, I think, and then 50 when the temperature is detected, and then it can run all the way up to 100 depending on how warm it gets in here, which is fine. It's more important that those, that this is put together, because the notch is going to be quiet, so I'm not really concerned about volume. I'm concerned about what this screen tells me and what these 10 temperature probes tell me. Bam. Here's a little warning speaker. Here's an adjustment knob. I've got to do some thing with a switch. I'm not sure if that's what I got to do. He's got to explain this to me a little better. But uh, these are fucking heavy wires, IT man. Jesus. This is this is like house wiring. And now I've got to cram all of this shit, which is put together, you know, not at all, into all of this shit. Which doesn't stay open for the first, like, 30 seconds while this wire freaks out. There you go. So now this, and this screen here, has got to get mounted on the lid I was just looking at behind that. And then all this other crap has to, like, live there. And then i got to have the heat probes come down along this bottom ridge and stick out. And they're going to get taped to the side of... I only have five hard drives currently, but Sushi's going to send me another two drives that he's not using because he bought six terabytes. He's going to give me his two threes. So I'll have four threes and a two and a half and a one and a half and a one. Feels like I ripped this out of an android's chest. Told him to fuck off. So yay. Yay. I want to go to Hawaii feels so fragile and like I'm gonna break it. Big solder traces and shit. I couldn't do this. That's too that's too painstaking. But I gotta know. I gotta I can't let what happened with the Did I throw that piece of shit in the garbage? I may have just flung it. The uh, Vantech HX4, I can't let that happen again where the hard drive gets so hot it shuts off. It's like, why is my hard drive slow? Why is my hard drive off? Oh, I can't touch it. It's that hot. So, fans, cooling, temperature sensors, going berserk. And I want to point something out to, to everyone who's been following this project. If I could go back in time, a few months, just a few months is all I'd need, I would not be doing it this way. I've determined that now that I've been through this shit for this long... Uh, what I would do is, if I, this is what you need. You still need a box. You still need fans. You still need a 12 volt power supply. But avoid all these SATA connection problems and all this crap. Anchor sells Anchor, the brand on Amazon with the most rating, the most amazing ratings I've ever seen of any brand. Unless they're faking all 3,000 five star reviews, then they probably have the best customer service and products I've ever seen. And I bought one. I bought a little Anchor eSATA, or SATA, straight into the back of a hard drive, two USB 3, and then you plug the thing in and you plug it into the wall. And that's it, it works. And if I was redoing this all again, for $22, those things cost $22 each, I would buy 10 of them. I would just buy 10 or 8, wherever I need to start, and then I would just go hard drive in here, plug a block in, then I'd have a USB 3 hub, a, you know, a big 10-port USB 3 hub, and I would go block, USB to USB, and then I wouldn't even need to fuck with 5 volt, because now I'm messing with 5 volt, because the things have 5 volt, and it would just be 12 volt into 10 things, and it would be done. And I'd plug in one USB 3 into my computer, and the little hub would say, this one's turning on, all these are turning on, it would just be perfect. But no, 
No, I gotta fucking start dealing with this shit. So, can't go back in time. Gotta commit now. We're committed to this. You would lose a lot of features with that. I wouldn't get any LED indicators or anything, which this is gonna have. Here, look what I got. Here are my little bar graph LEDs, and I finally got a battery to test them. What color is this? Green? Green? That means these are the yellows. Other way. No, my god, those are the reds. Imagine 10 of though There is... I bought two because I screwed something up. So there's 10, 10, and then green. No yellows. No, there's the yellows. I like yellow. No one does yellow LEDs anymore. They're old school. Why can't I get that one to light up? Tell me that one's broken. I'll be so pissed. All right, well, I can't get a bunch of blood up. I'm going to assume they all work, and I'm just being stupid. Back into the phone. So, these also have to get wired. So, oh my god, there's going to be 20 wires from each of these. From each of them. So, that's 60 fucking wires. Little thin wires that are going to be mounted on the back here so I can see them, because they're supposed to stand up. I'm supposed to see that end of it. And those wires have got to come all the way the fuck down here where I'm putting the goddamn controllers. So fuck, fuck wiring. It's starting to get hot. I don't have my air conditioner in. It's sweaty and humid and shit. But I persevere. And now I got to deal with if I've got this one ten here. Am I putting the board behind it? And I'm making the fanny fan spin. Oh, speaking of fanny fans, there will be a future episode of Mad Science Hour where I build a hundred and forty dollar audio file fan. It's coming up. It's coming up. Because it's fucking hot. And it's too it's too cool. It's cool to put a goddamn air conditioner on. Because that one just buzzes away and no one wants to listen to music with an air conditioner buzzing. So I spent way too much money than I should, but I think it was just it was just the sweat talking. Going like you need a fan. These consumer grade fans aren't good enough, man. You gotta build a fan. It's gotta make it cool. So, there'll be a fan build coming up whenever the hell the fan comes in. I'll go sleepy time. I could wrap with this. Uh. I've also figured out that I have to uh, Cross the SATA cables because this is the these are the shorter SATA cables. SATA cables. These are the ones I have ten of, so they're pretty fucking long. Which means they're gonna have to go here and then terminate on this side, and then here and terminate on this side. It's still gonna be a mess, and I hate it. It's bad, bad, bad future proofing from my point of view. But it's still gonna end up working. I hope. Uh. Okay, it's a good fade out, I need to talk. Now I need IT men to tell me how to wire this. I mean, it's basically put together. The only thing I need to do is, there's a 110 interceptor here, so that should something go catastrophically wrong when I'm at home, and a temperature sensor hits, like, the boiling point, it will just shut the whole goddamn box down and I can sort it out later. But that also involves me taking a 110 switch. Look at that thing, man. Look at it. It's a little boards all put together. Made in America. They don't even make switches in America. HND Lab Inc. list. Three quarters of an amp, 125 DC, or one amp, 125 AC. So I need a temporary, like, flip the power switch, and this button's going to turn it on. It's going to click on the relay that allows 110 to pass through. And then everything's going to start. Now, I remove the bottom, obviously. That's sitting over here. Here's where the temperature probes are going. The bundle goes... The bundle goes up here. And then I'm left with this fucking catastrophe. The power supply pulled out. It's over there. Here's a little speaker. Here's a little thing. Now, I believe... 
the spark fun, fun has to be that way for the screen to be correct. And it's going right here. This is where it's going. Now, I don't have much room above this because the power supply rests flush, which is currently there. So I'm going to have to cut out all the hex below this. All that hex below it's got to come out. And i got to cut exactly the hole the right size, and it's going to sink down, hopefully. These two things are relatively flat. They're just going to sit there and be happy. Then there's this fucker with the big relay on it and the giant sticking up uh, adjustment knob. And I have no place to put that. I have this 5 volt here that I could possibly move over to the side, but I'd rather not. I mean, I could just leave it like this, because here's this line here. This is where the power supply ends. So, bam, it'll just look like that. It'll just be sticking up like a reet. And I'm really a little bit leery about having 110 run all the way up and then across to the thing and then back out. And then, So it's, do I reverse this whole setup? Cut all these wire ties he's put in place. Keeping the, because the screen's it. The screen's got to stay there. I could slide the screen over and be, you know, ugly. I want the screen dead center. I really need the screen to stay there and all this stuff to move. Even if this stuff moved over there, it wouldn't matter because these two power supplies are in the mirrored positions. The two 5 volts would, would be in each other's way. How did that one fit there and this one didn't, wouldn't fit here? It was a thing. I forget how, how that worked out. Maybe it would fit there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, you're getting the basic how messed up this is view to so the hard drives end this is where the wires will end I'm talking about the one that closes you gotta remember mine this is gonna be closed everything's hard drives are gonna be hitting here all the strips for the SATA and power are gonna be in here between the gap to the power supply this thing is tight this is not amateur hour and I'm very much an amateur amateur and then I gotta bring down the goddamn fan headers too, and god damn it. I'm gonna put, put back on my New York accent and start cursing again. Alright. The first thing I should do is really get this in place, or get the hole in place for this. Force it upon myself. Because if I don't do that, I'm gonna be all wishy washy about where I'm putting this and when I'm putting it in. How should I do this? Maybe I'll wait another week. No, no. This stuff's gotta be mounted. This stuff is all accessories. At least these look like they're all going to work. You've got to explain how these get set up and tied together. i got to know what the hell this does. What does this do, IT man? I don't know what this does. I know I need that switch, but I think the switch goes on one of these. To skip over 110 and then, oh. Uh, uh. Ron. Uh. how I'm working right now, just staring off to the distance. <sighs> 